Welcome everyone to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything that your Apple Silicon-based Mac can do that your Intel Mac just can't. So what machines am I talking about here? I'm gonna be talking about anything that is Apple Silicon-based. At the time of this video, that includes any machine, any Mac, with the M1, M1 Pro, or M1 Max processors on the inside. Things like the 24-inch iMac, the new 16-inch MacBook Pro, the new 14-inch MacBook Pro, there is the MacBook Air with the M1, there's a Mac Mini with the M1. There's a lot of Apple Silicon-based Macs out there, and all of them can do stuff that your Intel ones can't. By the way, I'm not just talking about performance boosts. Of course, Apple Silicon is fast. Yes, it has the unified memory architecture for fast memory, and it has blazing fast SSD speeds, and it has better hardware accelerated video encoding and decoding that we saw with Intel processors. But those aren't things that I'm gonna talk about in this video. First, Apple Silicon exclusive feature, portrait mode on FaceTime. Thanks to macOS Monterey on Apple Silicon based Macs, you're able to go into Control Center and go to Video Effects and enable Portrait Mode whenever you're using your camera for things like a FaceTime call. It's really easy to do and can make your room look a little bit better because the background just isn't so sharp. It looks more like an actual, you know, high-end DSLR versus just a built-in webcam. It definitely has an improved effect versus what we saw before without Portrait Mode enabled. Apple Silicon also enables an improved Maps experience. With Apple Silicon, you can use the Maps app to look at the new expanded globe view. You can see the Earth as a whole, and you can interact with it, spin it around, look at cities, and zoom in. It feels all very smooth and fluid, and we don't have anything like that on Intel Macs. On top of that, there's an improved city experience as well. In certain cities, like LA and New York, you can go in and see much more detail, including trees and a lot of other small touches that we don't see with other cities or on Intel Macs. For dictation users, Apple Silicon enables on-device dictation. If you don't have Apple Silicon, it's gonna to need to go ahead and send those dictations all the way up to the cloud, get analyzed and processed, and then back to your machine. It's a little bit quicker to do it on-device, and it means nothing is being shared and there's no internet access required. When Apple introduced the new 24-inch iMac, it introduced a new Magic Keyboard to go along with. These new keyboards had a slightly new design and of course some fun colors. That's not the only benefit. They also had Touch ID. These are the first Apple Magic keyboards that are wireless to support Touch ID. Now this doesn't just work with the new 24 inch iMac. You can actually buy these separately and use them with any Mac. But on top of that, if you pair it with an Apple Silicon based Mac with the M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max processor, you can use Touch ID. So if you have an older Intel-based Mac, the keyboard's gonna work great, and you can have access to the font colors and the shortcut keys, but you cannot use Touch ID. The Touch ID on the wireless Magic Keyboard will only work on an Apple Silicon Mac. Apple Silicon Macs also have improved text-to-speak functionality for additional languages. You can have text read in Danish, Finnish, Norwegian, as well as Swedish. Finally, the last feature that's exclusive to Apple Silicon base Macs is running iOS and iPadOS apps natively. Now, there is way to run iOS and iPad apps through Catalyst on Intel Macs, but not all apps are created equal. Some are not packaged in Catalyst and will not run on Intel Macs. So that gives you a wider array of iOS and iPadOS apps to run on your Apple Silicon based Mac. For me, I'm a huge HomeKit fan. You guys probably know this. And a lot of HomeKit apps, such as the Eve app, won't run on Intel. They'll only run on Apple Silicon. So if there's certain apps that are iOS or iPadOS that don't run on Intel, they may run on your Apple Silicon-based Mac. Just gives you a lot more options to play around with. So that's it. Those are the big things that Apple Silicon Macs can do that your Intel Macs can't do. And I didn't even touch on things like improved port selection, like the new MacBook Pros has MagSafe 3 and Thunderbolt 4. We're gonna see those on other Macs soon, but they're just not available on Intel Macs. Let me know what you guys think and what you hope to see in future Apple Silicon based Macs. Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you wanna grab an Apple Silicon based Mac for yourself, I've got links with some great deals down below in the description.